And the longest running 4th of July parade in the state happened today. Ypsilanti celebrating its 94th annual Independence Day parade. Meredith Bruckner takes us to the event at the corner of West Cross and Mansfield Streets. Standing in a staging area right before the event kicks off and onlookers and participants are starting to trickle in by the minute. Now organizers tell me more than 500 people will be participating in today's event, which turns 94. That's right. It's the oldest running 4th of July parade in the state of Michigan. So there's a lot to look forward to. Summer community tradition. The Ypsilanti community gathers every 4th of July for an action packed parade that runs from the water tower to Depot Town. For its organizers, it's much more than a parade. I know that times are a little weird and we all have a lot of opinions about the United States, our country and what's going on. But when it comes down to it, this is the one day of the year where we all have the same title. Yep. We're all Americans. Yes. And here we're all Ipsy Americans. Yes. And that's a whole different breed. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a snapshot of our community. Um, it's a, a way to see um, what organizations and businesses are here. Um, that's what I love about it. It's just very beautiful to see, you know, all, all the diversity in the Ypsilanti community. Numerous organizations participate in the event. Some participants shared why they decided to march this year. We really just want to show people that um, Drag is not dangerous. Drag is fun. Drag is for everybody. It's my first time at a parade. I've been in Ipsy my whole life, and I'm so excited to be here and to share with people the bookmobile and the summer challenge. We are here to, to support the uh, teachers, the lecturers at Eastern Michigan University. We're the union, EMUFT. We're all members of the community, and we've, we've done this parade. We've watched this parade from the sidelines with our kids for years, and now we're in it for our first time on the bicentennial. We're really excited. I was invited by Ypsilanti to ride in the parade. They needed a clown last year. Somebody said, where are the clowns? So I said, here I am, and I'm riding in my, my unicycle. I made it, I survived last year. I can do it this year. Community members of all ages began lining the one mile route long before the event began with lawn chairs, strollers, and wagons. I'm here with my family and friends as we come every year to the Ypsilanti parade. We've lived in this neighborhood for 45 years, and we are thrilled to be here on this beautiful day. Members of the Professional Youth Theater of Michigan sang their way through the event. We're PYTMI, Professional Youth Theater of Michigan. We're doing the parade. We have a float, and we're going to go down and sing some Disney songs. Um, we're warming up right now, as you can hear. It's exciting. I've never been in a big parade before, so... I'm nervous and excited at the same time. This is the first time I have been on the news, and you guys might want to see the float that we made. Several elected officials also marched in the parade from the federal to the county level. You know, I'm just marching in the 4th of July parade. It's always a really great community event. Uh, there's never enough candy to give to the kids, but it's great seeing people out on a beautiful day, lining the streets, celebrating uh, Independence Day. And this is a real good, uh, good, good time every single year. Following the event, community members gathered in Riverside Park for the opening of a time capsule on its 50th anniversary. Later this summer, the city will be holding a celebration to mark its bicentennial. Reporting in Ypsilanti, Meredith Bruckner, CBS News, Detroit.